Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome back to another episode of Sevenfold. It's a series in which I'm going to try and win some money through my predictions, your predictions and the predictions of some very special guests that we're going to be having on the show throughout the course of the season. If you watched last week, you'll already be familiar with how the show works, but if you didn't, then I'll let you pause this screen, I'll give you a couple of seconds. So, we didn't do too well last week, did we? We played against Tottenham at Shitty, Jack Reeve from that channel, and none of us had a particularly good week. Let's have a look at the table, how it went last time. So, as you can see, I'm the only man that managed to get more than two. You guys, you picked Fulham, they drew, Villa drew, Dortmund drew, Chelsea drew with Arsenal. There were a lot of draws last week, and New York Rebels lost to New York City. Uh, I was the only one that managed to correctly forecast Arsenal versus Chelsea as a draw and Jack and I both managed to get New York City versus Red Bulls as a home win. So, not a particularly great week for any of us. Let's hope we can do better this week and I've got Ellis Planton from Away Days to help me out this time. Let's have a look at the games we're going to be talking about and predicting. So the Premier League is back, of course. We had to do four Premier League games this time. We're going for... Look, we're going to go for some easier ones. <laughs> we gave ourselves a lot to do last time. All of the winnings are above £2,000. This time we're going to try and make it a bit easier for ourselves. So, I've gone for Chelsea versus Burnley, Brighton versus Man City, Newcastle versus Spurs, which is a bit less easy, Man United versus West Ham, which I guess could go either way, but you know, you'd probably fancy you know, one particular team in that one. But then it gets tougher. You've got Barcelona versus Real Madrid, Juventus versus Lazio, and Toronto versus Portland Timbers in the MLS. Let's see how many we can get. Let's go to Ellis from Away Days, who has his predictions. Football is back, and I'm here on Ben's channel to give my predictions for the start of the, the season. The first week of the Premier League season is here. Obviously, Championship and Football League and Non-League started last week, but for now, we've got the Premier League season back, and the first game I'm going to be predicting is Chelsea against Burnley. And I think Chelsea are going to scrape through 1 or 2 nil with a few goals from midfield. Um, unsure as to how good Morata will be, just like everyone is. Hasn't played a game yet. Uh, nice analysis there. Also, the backdrop here couldn't be any worse. Um, not able to get to my usual backdrop like use the video, so I'm currently here. Um, so apologies for that, Ben, if this isn't up to the usual the usual standards. Um, and then after that, we've got Man City against Brighton. I think Man City will go a goal down, but I think they'll beat Brighton by a couple of goals here. Um, yeah, I think Brighton will definitely score, but I feel like Man City have enough about them this season to win most games comfortably. Newcastle against Spurs are going to go for a draw. Obviously, Spurs have lost Walker. Might be losing Danny Rose. Um, I wonder how that's going to affect them. Always quite stereotypically slow starters as well. Newcastle just coming back up. Um, so I'm going to go for a draw there. And then we've got Manchester United against West Ham. And I think, like, man, you're going to win 1-0. Um, because West Ham just aren't... I've made some really good sign-ins, but I don't think they're there yet. I think they need one or two more. Like, William Carvalho would be fantastic. But I'm going to go for a West Ham win there. After that, we have got Toronto FC against Portland Timbers from the MLS. Um, Toronto FC... It's just a class side. Delgado, Vasquez, Giovinco, Altador, Bradley. They've just got they've got class throughout their squad. Um, probably the most European team, them and like Atlanta United in the MLS. You make sense, like they have a European style of player, great team that'll probably fit into a European league. Um, I think they'll have enough to be Portland Timbers here. After that, Spanish Super Cup, Barca against Real. I think Barca are actually going to win here. A lot of stuff being said about Neymar, um, Messi and Luis Suarez, and I think they have enough to beat uh, Real Madrid here. Might be a controversial opinion, but I think they have enough. Uh, Juve against Lazio. I feel like Juve are going to cruise past here, because Lazio are not the side they used to be. Obviously, Immobile was fantastic last season. Lazio are needing to carry on doing that again this season. going to have any success. Um, but I feel like Juve have enough about them to beat them here. Thanks for having me on the channel, Ben. Yeah. Football's back. Thanks for that, Ellis. I'm going to be putting that £5 bet on. Let's hope it comes in, and I'll be thanking you very much if you've made me a rich man this weekend. Let's get into my predictions and yours. We'll start with Chelsea versus Burnley. The champions defending their title. Can they, in any way, put up any sort of season that's similar to the last time? I'm not convinced they will, but Chelsea versus Burnley at Stamford Bridge. You can't look past the hosts, even if I do think they will finish outside the top four this season, as you would have known if you watched my predictions video, which I released yesterday. Brighton versus Man City. City, everyone's favourites to win the league. Brighton have just come up. I think they're going to get relegated. I think this could be quite the route. I think Brighton are going to have the toughest introduction to the top tier as they could have possibly had. I think this could be 4 or 5 1 or something like that to Man City. Everyone thinks the same, you guys do as well. So we're all two for two in terms of our predictions being exactly the same as each other. Now, Newcastle versus Spurs. Ellis has gone for a draw. You guys have gone for Spurs. I'm going to disagree with both of you and pick Newcastle to win this game. Something's not quite right in the Spurs camp at the moment. Danny Rose isn't happy. Walker's left. They've not signed anybody. 
Newcastle back in the Premier League, the crowd are going to be so up for it. They've made a couple of signings, nothing special yet, but I think they'll have enough in this one. I think they're going to get a narrow home win, and I'm going to pick them at 4-1 to one to win this game. Man United versus West Ham. Now, this isn't going to be a walk in the park for United, having Hernandez back at his old club, but Ellis has gone for United, you've gone for United, I'm going to agree too. I think they're going to finish in the top four again this season. They will mount more of a title challenge. They're going to win on Sunday, in my opinion. Now to the juicy ones. Barcelona was Ellis's pick. Madrid was your pick for the Super Cup first leg over in Spain. This is at the new Camp. And I'm going to go for a draw. I think it might be quite a cagey tight one. I think it's going to be one apiece or something like that. I just think neither side want to lose going into the second leg. I think they're quite even. I'm going to go for a draw. Juventus versus Lazio. I don't think it's going to be straightforward for Juventus, but this is only just one leg. Could, of course, go all the way to penalties, but I'm going to go for Juventus to win inside the 90 minutes, as you have and Ellis has. And then Toronto versus Portland Timbers. I've chucked another MLS game into this one. We did well on that one last week. Well, I did and Jack did. You guys got it wrong with the Red Bulls. Uh, I'm going to go for Toronto to win, just as you guys have. So that completes the seven. Let's have a look at the accumulators. So I've just put these on. My one is the, the most unlikely one, it's £600.60 is the return of a fiver, about 120 to 1. I think it's a Newcastle game of 4-1. Uh, the draw between Barca and Madrid that have made the odds go quite high there, so what a win that would be. It's unlikely, but we'll see. You guys have got much shorter odds than you had last week. Last week you guys were about 2000 off a of fiver, now it's 179 quid. so this one's quite feasible. We've got all the favourites. Bar Real Madrid at Barcelona. So if you'd gone for Barcelona, I think this would have been about 20 to 1. Instead, what is it, about 40 or 50 to 1? So I think it's 44 to 1. This one's been placed. Hope you guys can do me proud. And as for Ellis's, this one returns £229.32. He's gone for Newcastle and Tottenham to draw and Barcelona to win. So mostly the favourites. And yeah, so this is the second favourite out of the three accumulators that we're doing this week. Let's hope one of them comes in and hopefully it's mine because I would love £600 and who knows how many Soccer Saturdays that could pay for. As soon as one of these comes in, we're going to do another Soccer Saturday, okay? That's the pledge I'm going to make. As soon as you guys or one of my guests or I get one of these seven folds in, another Soccer Saturday will follow immediately. How does that sound? So let's remind ourselves of how we're looking for this week. So yeah, we're pretty similar across the board. We're all picking Chelsea, we're all picking City, we're all picking United, Juventus and Toronto. The difference has come in the Newcastle Spurs game where all the outcomes are there. And the same can be said for Barcelona and Real Madrid. So as long as Chelsea, City, United, Juventus and Toronto win, we are going to be winners. So it's pretty much a five-fold and then the other, the other two games are will dictate how much I win, so hopefully we can take some money home this week. Before we go, let's just have a look at the leaderboard as to how we stand so far. Obviously, we're only one week in, so nobody has won any money yet. We were chasing some really long odds last week, but I'm top because I, got, I made three correct picks, whereas you and the guest Jack only managed two. So let's hope we get more than that this time and some money on the board would be absolutely fantastic. Make sure you're following me at Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook in order to follow the progress of these seven folds. With me, after this week, we'll have a leaderboard between the guests too. We'll see how Jack fared up against Ellis. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Make sure you check out the other content I've been doing. Drop a like on this video for me to keep up this series. It's not cheap to do three bets of five pounds a week, so if you're enjoying it, make sure you let me know that you do. Thanks so much to Ellis from Away Days for coming on. Make sure you have subscribed to the Away Days channel. A lot of you will already know who he is already, but I'll leave a link in the description for those of you that don't. Loads of vlogs from Ground Hops that he does, various other things too. Loads of entertaining stuff. Please do give him a subscribe. I'll see you next time.